I was great in swimming. All right. So I saw some really good arms, and I saw some really good legs. So we just did our swim. Hi, my name is Jeff Hart, and I am uh, giving a demonstration for the Convergent Discovery Style Teaching. Um, this is located in Brockport at uh, Camp Abilities, which is a athletic camp for athletes with visual impairments. Uh, they are coached one-on-one -on -one with their own special coach, as well as uh, led by a specialist. I am currently the specialist for the swim uh, group here, shown in this video. Uh, I have designated them to split up into two groups, which is what you're seeing now. The two groups uh, involve one group working on their arms for the freestyle, the other group is working on their legs for the freestyle. Uh, after a short time of practice um, with their coaches, they will come together and we will put the skill together. They will share what worked, what didn't work, um, and we will hopefully see the parts come together in the end. In upcoming scenes, you're going to see a video of me giving uh, depth of knowledge questions uh, to the students and athletes, uh, making them think about what their body is doing. This lesson also uh, takes into consideration Shape America Standards 1 and 2, 1 being related to motor skills, they are looking at uh, skills of swimming, and, uh, flutter kicks, uh, arm movement for freestyle, and um, a lot of the concepts are also transferable to other swimming styles. Also relates to standard two, um, again talking about strategy and, and concepts, uh, the concept of staying streamlined in the water, the concept of pulling the water back on swim strokes and pointing the feet on flutter kicks are all strategies and concepts that uh, athletes need to understand in order to perform the skills correctly. Demonstrations of uh, physical guidance, tactile modeling, um, are shown all throughout the video right here where they're keeping their hips afloat uh, as an example of physical guidance you can also use different modification pieces of equipment such as boards or bees and noodles to keep them afloat um, there's a portion up here coming up where the boy in the green uh, and i use tactile modeling so i can show them hard movement do you feel the difference okay go back and work on that over there okay and then we're going to come together in about one minute guys one minute so we are starting to see some uh, examples of progress in learning uh, with some of these athletes. Uh, many of them did not have full range of motion in the beginning of the video. We are now seeing some successes. Uh, even if they're small, they have to hear in the green shirt. Um, but barely even float on his belly at the beginning of this. He is now um, starting to get his body horizontal in the water. Uh, working towards getting his face in uh, and getting his arms above water. Okay, coming up is the uh, portion where we all meet as a group. Uh, the teams come together and we share our uh, what worked, what didn't work, some hints for the other teams, um, and then we come together and we will uh, put it together. Unfortunately, we do not have enough time right at the end of this class to get to the full stroke. Uh, it was completed on day two when I did not have a recording device. Okay, Madeline, move this way so you can hear, because I know it's hard to hear. Come on over here. 
okay? I have hands right here, okay? Go ahead, cups. What did you just say? Your hands are like what? Cups. So your hands are like cups. Everybody make their hands like cups, Trevor. Make your hands like cups. That's what she said helped her with her arms. So everybody make your hands like cups. Like this. See how I'm making mine? Good, just like that. Madeline? So, perfect. Keep those fingers together. So imagine like if you were holding water in there, you don't want the water to spill out, right? Cups, what else? Then, um, make sure you put your thumb in the middle. Good, so when we're reaching our arms, everyone pretend like reaching their arms. My finger and my thumb, my pointer finger and my thumb are in first, and then I'm pulling that water back. Okay, so everybody practice. Right, so just put their arms in the water, first, pull that water first. back. Okay, let me hear a hit from my leg team. Who for my kicking team has a hit for my people that were doing arms? What helped you with your kicks? Trevor, what did I help you with? Say it loud so that they can hear it, because Alex can't hear you. Keeping your feet straight. Did you hear that, Alex? Keeping your feet straight. You gotta make sure your to uh, toes are pointed. And I felt the difference when I was holding him and he was kicking, okay? He was making a lot more power with his legs and his toes were pointed. He was kicking. Do you kick with your knees or do you kick with your hips? Okay, so we're kicking with our and then we're going to put it all together, okay? We're going to practice streamline off the wall, and then we're going to put our arms and our legs together, okay? We we'll hopefully would have enough time. I think we just need a small minute warning, okay? So let's have everybody up against the wall. So part of the assessment for kind of what he's supposed to get them to be streamlined, uh, that is why I uh, didn't put it together just yet. Uh, after this video, uh, and <laughs> I lost my recorder. We did put it together, and we did have a lot of success. Um, all those athletes that are in the pool, um, they all are in the freestyle races at the end of the week. Uh, and show sex right here. We're just doing a body check uh, as an uh, emergency demo. No arms. Everybody understand? Yes. Yes, that's what we're doing. That's exactly what we're doing. So you, you want to go first? Uh, All right, Lily, you can watch out. Mike, through right there. We can move off the wall. Up the wall. Discovery of the freestyle arm movement with level two swimmers uh, at Camp Abilities Brockport, where the athletes have visual impairments. So you saw a lot of inclusion uh, woven in and a lot of command style. Also used through the use of coaches uh, paired up with the athletes. Uh, these can also be considered um, some same age peers as well uh, were used. So uh, a lot of uh, different types of uh, teaching styles used together uh, to help these students uh, all learn at their own paces. Ready? Go. Much better. Okay. Go. 
good. We'll work on that next time.